detectives at the Kasarani police station are investigating the mysterious death of a caretaker who collapsed minutes after being freed from the police station, only for his body to be found a week later along the Thika Superhighway. The family of Jenson Buba want the Independent Police Oversight Authority, IPOA, to probe what could have transpired before his release as police claimed he had collapsed inside the police cells and was released after regaining consciousness. The events of December 16th at an apartment along Lumumba Drive in Roisambu area. This man is captured on camera entering this building and walks out with a bicycle at around 8.30 a.m. A day later, the apartment caretaker Genson Buba, popularly known as Mugendi, was arrested and detained at the Kasarani police station in connection with the theft of the bicycle after the owner reported the matter to police. Genson spent the night at the station before friends and relatives paid him a visit on the 18th December to seek for his release on cash bail or police bond. Police officers denied Genson the bond and insisted that he should be arraigned, but only allowed his sister to visit. Na nikampata Kasaran police station around 6 na tukaonana, tukaongea, aliniambia alishikwa njia baiskeli kwa njia ni kiateka wa proti enya naka kuna baiskeli dipotea huko tukaachana hiyo on friday the family was later informed that genson had been released 20 minutes after his sister hana murugi left the station although his whereabouts remained unknown niliambiwa aliachiliwa juu alikuwa ameanguka huko akafanywa first aid akwakamuachilia According to Murugi, he was the only family member allowed to access the contents of the CCTV footage, which is at the entrance of the police station. Genson was seen staggering out of the station after being freed around 6.20 p.m. on 18th December before he collapsed outside Kasarani police station. But what puzzled the sister, however, is that the CCTV footage does not show what happened to Genson after he collapsed. Was he picked? Did he wake up? Or was it a cover-up? Questions that the detectives will be seeking to answer. Three days later, the family filed a report of a missing person and a search mission began. Genson's body was found a week later on Christmas Day in a ditch, two kilometers from the police station along the Thika Superhighway. Kasarani Sub-County Police Commander Muturi Mongera says that the DCI team at the station is investigating the matter to unravel what could have led to the collapse, disappearance and the death of the father of two. The family now awaits the post-mortem exercise to be conducted on Thursday to ascertain the cause of Genson's death. Elsewhere, the autopsy results of Ramadan Bakari, the 17-year-old boy who was allegedly arrested by police officers in Isili and later found dead in Gidurai area, revealed that he died from a blunt trauma to his head and strangulation. Watoto wale ambao wangekuwa serikali ya kesho, ndia wanafanyua vitu kama hizo. President wetu wako wapi, matiangi wako wapi, nani atatupigania, sababu hata mimi mwenye ni kikaa pale kwa saa hii. We are calling on the police to kindly abide by the rule of law. Kenya is not a police state. We are not operating in a lazy sphere. You know, we have rules, we have laws, we have a constitution. Ramadan was laid to rest at Karyoko Muslim Cemetery earlier today.